stream of faith which brings life forever. Mm-hmm. The man of tomorrow. We had a, a fish that I think we got damaged through through breeding. So um, I'm just I've, I've caught the fish. It's quite a large line. I don't want to distress it too much. So I've got a volume of water in here, and it's been sat in this bucket for over an hour. And you want at least 20 minutes, depending on the size of the bag. And all I'm going to do now is just let a little bit of the water into the bag, about a couple of cupfuls. And then I'm going to just tie the bag back up again. So yeah, I'm just going to put it in this, this quarantine for the time being. I've got to run out of the quarantine tank at the moment. But as you can see now, I've increased the amount of volume of water. But I've already done this one. So once I get to about here, um, then the pH level will have equalised. pH shock is not a good thing. So equalise your temperature before you do it and then add a small amount of water to the bag. <coughs> you can actually catch the fish then and put it straight. So yeah, a little bit on fish keeping. Transferring a fish is quite important to shock it. Just thought we'd mention uh, a little about fish foods. For some people, this won't matter. The food that you feed in your fish, yeah, they won't bother. For, for us, well, <laughs> I understand it. I, I, don't, I don't know if it really matters a great deal. Here we've got, uh, which costs five pounds, about five pounds, maybe seven pounds or something, English, so. Ten dollars, maybe ten dollars worth of fish food. Looks all right. Fish food, see it there. Okay. This is another one. We'll try not to use the names too much, but this is another one. It's a very good quality one. It's cost us about the same money. Maybe um, it was five pounds. Here we have um, another fish food. Looks very similar to the, the other one. That was three pounds. I'll show you a sample of this. And here we have uh, spirulina. What's the difference? Because this is an old one. On this, if you look at the ingredients, it, it doesn't really tell you. It, it, it tells you the vitamins that it's got and so forth. It doesn't really mention much. On here, it's a lot more thorough. It will tell you what's in it, how much protein there is in it. Protein is the important one, I suppose, you look at. You want a balanced diet, but protein. And then you've got ingredients. Fish meal, maize. Fine, you think this is okay? And then you've got poultry meat. <laughs> it's got a wasp visiting us. And you've got poultry meat. Land animal. Land animal. Now for a lot of people who may be vegetarian or, or they want to grow organic fruit and vegetables, well you can't do it giving them land animal. Here again, this hasn't. This has got in it ingredients, wheat germ protein, fish proteins. You see the proteins coming from fish. Here, the spirulina, vegetable protein. So if you want organic fruit and veg and you, you want to follow that, that route uh, and there is an argument about what's used the, the, the drugs that are given to uh, land animals, farmed animals. So my, the point I'm trying to make is very cheap fish food, very expensive fish food, both containing animal protein. Very cheap fish food, very expensive fish food, both containing vegetable or fish protein. Go for the vegetable and fish protein every time. If you want one of these super mixes, you know, you, you, because they've got all the things to keep your fish looking nice, then just give them a little bit, I suppose. Personally, 
I'd go for the spirulina. Or the, the, the fish, the fish based protein feeds rather than land animal. <laughs> and you can see the fish don't seem to mind. I don't know if you can uh, get a camera up there. So this is the one we're going to be using for the time being. We are going to be mixing all the stuff with the worms. We're going to have the frozen worms because we're getting uh, a glut on the worms now. So that'll be another harvest. A little bit of fish food. Spirulina seems to be a good one. Uh, I'm not knocking this. Good. It's very good quality fish food. But it does have land animal in it. So I don't know when the fish would actually get to eat the sheep and the chickens and the pigs. But to me that's perhaps not such a, a good idea. Especially when there are products containing fish, insect and plant protein. Fish food, the diversities. Thanks, that'll do. Strike with knowledge, all oh children. Within I know, I rock is I solid foundation. Future is our guide. Creation I faith bow patiently waiting for the stream of faith which brings life forever.